Hey folks, this is Matt aka Slash, and welcome back to the Vintage Beef Fan Server. We've got uh, a lot to update you on. I've been doing a, quite a bit of work off camera. I uh, just sort of got the building urge. Wow, that frame rate coming out of there. I don't know what that's all about. Uh, got a little bit of the building urge, so to speak, and did quite a bit. <laughs> I've added on to the side of our little uh, exit, base exit here. I've added on a tunnel that heads up this away and will eventually link up to the biomes project is going to have a portal at it. And this empty space back here is for this advanced lighting technique ho and all that. Um, wanted to use lava. I, I'm a big fan of using lava in the nether for lighting builds. So I got a couple of lava buckets I'm gonna drop in here real quick. I don't have a whole lot of lava, unfortunately. There we go. But at least this room is now lit. And we're gonna go ahead and place the portal. I'm gonna do three by three for this portal. Uh, let's see, that should go there. Uh, yep, there we go. Beautiful. And I might... I gotta do something, I think, about these corners. I don't like the way that that looks. So I might just need to put some full blocks in there. And all this nether, uh, nether brick is by no means final. It's just my initial idea. Uh, I might put in some accents here and there. Like a stripe of something different here in the middle. or Who knows? I haven't quite decided yet. I just wanted to get the the hub here operational and we're not going to go through there because I don't want to create a portal on the top side I want to this is these are the perfect coordinates for where the portal is going up top now the other thing I did want to check though we are facing north okay so the portal should be entered north south I gotta remember that help me remember that would you remind me when I create the other one so now we're going to go back top side and we're going to pop into or over to the biomes project where the vast majority of my progress has been happening. And that's off in this direction. Raining, of course, because it's Minecraft multiplayer. But what can you do, right? And here we are. Obviously, I've gotten some more work done over here with the various bowls that will serve as the basis, base is, <laughs> B-A-S-E-S, -S, uh, for the sort of snow globe type things. And I have walkways connecting them. I have all six of these done uh, on this middle layer where the moderate or temperate uh, biomes are going to go, plains, forest, etc. And I've also nah, put in the two staircases leading up to the next level. And that's something else you guys can help me out with. There's going to be four biomes that are up higher than these. And then there are going to be four biomes that are going to be down low. And they're going to link off of those that one and then the corresponding ones on the other four points of well the other four points that look like that of this six pointed hexagon and I'm trying to decide I mean I've got the biomes divided into three categories basically hot cold and in between but I'm trying to decide which temperature to put where so here's a good aerial view let's go over to the edge here there's going to be another 
bowl here that I haven't built yet. I've done eight, I guess, so far. See you, Nihon. Um, yeah, so I, I'm going to have four up here and four down below that layer. And I'm trying to think whether to have the colder biomes up on this level and the hot biomes down below... Because that's sort of how it works with the dimensions. Like the end is sort of considered up in the sky. Like a, a, the dimension above this one. And the nether is considered the dimension below. Or there's the whole principle of heat rises. So maybe have the, the hot dimensions up here and the cold dimensions down below. And I can't decide between the two. It doesn't ultimately matter all that much. But uh, I would like to try to have some sort of <laughs> consistent idea or, you know... Be happy with the choice when I go into it. Oh, by the way, just a quick note. One of these, and I don't remember which one it is now, but one of these bowls, I had accidentally, when constructing the staircase, it starts down at the bottom. It goes flat one level, and then the staircase starts from there. And on one of these sides, I forgot to have it go out the one level, and I built all the way up here. I built the entire bowl. And I was starting to build this connecting intersection up here, where the top four bowls will be ac accessible from one another. And one of the pathways had to be one block longer than the other. And I was originally just going to leave it like that and be like, oh, no one will even notice. And then I realized exactly what the error was. So I tore down and rebuilt <laughs> the bowl and the staircase to make it match. And that was annoying. Alright, let's get the portal in place. So we want to go north-south. So we're going to take that out of there. We need to take out those three. And I'm very glad that wood is a renewable resource. Because I've been dropping a lot of it into the ocean during this build project. So go like that. Like that. One two, three, and then I need a block to build off of. Beautiful. I have an extra... Oh, that's right. I picked up that torch. I'm like, where'd this extra torch come from? Alright, so, we'll light that. And now the moment of truth, this should connect up with the other one that we just lit in the nether. Fingers crossed so that we don't end up somewhere else. Ah, success! This is where we meant to be. And let's make sure it connects up properly in the other direction. Oh, that's, a, that's awesome. That is, that is awesome. I'm very happy with that. So that'll make uh, going back and forth a little bit easier now between home and here, rather than having to dart my way across the extreme hills area. Just got to finish lighting this up with lava in the walls, and we are all set. All right. Ah, uh, here we are back at home with the mysterious dog that we still can't account for. Who's on right now? Lego. I'm pretty sure I have checked Lego. But let's just to be on the safe side here. Eh. Come on. Let me place the water. Yep. No teleporting dog. Oh, that dog's in bad shape, too. He's been caught in the poison and splash damage potion effect from when I've been harvesting the beef. The herd's been culled pretty decently. Uh, and I've got, oh my gosh, maybe 20 stacks of beef right now uh, in storage, cooked beef. So I don't really feel like I need to have that beefed up, <laughs> no pun intended, beefed up too much. So I kind of, I killed off a bunch and I'm leaving it at that level. Because I know Baker, for instance, has said she gets a lot of lag because of all the animals. So I'm trying to help that a little bit, frame rate lag. Uh, she's been here still doing pretty good. This system has been working nicely. I don't think I had shown the amount of wool that I've been getting out of it, but let's take a look. These are empty. I've already emptied those into their sorting boxes, but look at that. I'm almost full up on white. 
dark gray, or the regular gray is only about half, same with the black. Most of them are about, like, a single chest or so. Uh, there are a few of them that are a little bit lower, just because... And the yellow's one of those that's up really high. The pink is up pretty high. I think the red's up pretty high. Yep, and the purple. But most of them, are, they're doing pretty good. At some point, I may have to re-dye some of the sheep. I ideally would like to try and get it to an even distribution down under there, but uh, it, it'd be difficult without pulling them all out individually and dyeing them one at a time to whatever colors you know I actually wanted. There's something to be said for a um, a sorted system where you have the sheep by color in their own separate pens, but uh. Obviously, that wouldn't work with that. I'd have to build 16 of those to be able to do it that way. And I'm not going to do that. Thank you very much. So today, I don't really plan on doing any more work on the biome project just now. That's been an awful lot of block placing. There's an awful lot yet to go. I would like to try to get all of the the bases uh, in place with all of the connecting walkways um, before I continue on. The next big project that's going to have to come out of that is putting the glass domes on. And I'm still not sure whether I want to use the white stained glass or the plain glass or maybe some other stained color of glass for that purpose. Um... I just, I cannot make up my mind. It's, that seems to be the theme of today's episode. An indecisiveness. Just can't decide between the different colors of glass. Can't decide, um, whatever the other thing was that I couldn't decide. What was it? Couldn't decide on what? I can't remember. I think, <laughs> I think indecisiveness and forgetfulness must be hand in hand or something. The trick-or-treat stuff is still up from the party at spawn. Now I'm just snooping around randomly. Thought I'd come over and check things out around here. I don't think I'd shown this. This is done with the, or at least as done as I think it's gonna be. Uh, I like the, the roof with the random patterns of, of white in the blue glass. Uh, it kind of reminds me of Tetris, actually. Uh, so. Good job with that. Uh, I think it's a whole bunch of community books go up here. But I'm not I'm not sure exactly what the plan for this is. So, anyway. Let's check to see if there's anything going on at the house. I don't have a mailbox at the house since the Beavington Post Office opened up. So, not really sure why I would expect there to be anything here waiting for me, but that I would check while I'm in here. Oh, my helmet's gone. I think I had to take that out. I don't remember what my purpose was behind that. Why I needed a helmet. Oh, but you know what? I bet you I put a helmet in, put that helmet in the um, trick-or-treat. I think that's what it was. Let's see what else we got going on around spawn. I think this is the fishing hut. Is it? Yes, this is the AFK fishing hut. Um, I built the the core of that uh, back at my place. So what do we got here? Looks like somebody's planning on building or something. Got some random supplies. Hmm. Very interesting. Or maybe it was just somebody... We've had a couple of names pop up online. Who do we got? It's just me and Lego. Uh, a couple of people pop up online recently whose names I don't recognize. Oh, somebody used a, a splash healing. So maybe they were getting started over there. Just uh, storing their stuff away. Let's take a quick look. And see... Nope. No additional customers. You know, I'm going to take this gunpowder back with me, though. I don't really need a whole lot. Let's just do maybe five. 
We'll keep in there and that should be plenty. That road looks like it was continued a little bit. I don't think that was there before, but I could be wrong. I don't make it to spawn as often as I should. Simply because I've got a lot going on back at base with the biome project. Now, this is new. Not sure what this build is, but it's looking nice so far. I like the potential that I'm seeing here. Very cool. Looks like it's going to be some sort of uh, business type establishment based on the, the countertops. Oh, speaking of business type establishments, I don't know if you were aware, Nihon uh, Tiger, his um, Der Glugstiger pub is up and running, selling uh, non-splash potions. This is the courthouse here. Looking good. And over in this direction is the tree farm. That's another project Nihon's been doing. I dropped off some acacia saplings for him to get started with. Let's see if there are any planted and growing over here yet. Alright, look, there's some of the, the chocolate oak. <laughs> what do we got down here? Building going. Oh, POI tree farm. So I guess this is the going to be like the entrance, the proper entrance to the tree farm. Construction phase two. Oh, very nice. Hopefully I'm not uh, spoiling anything here for you, Nihon. I apologize if uh, if this gets out before your next video. I think you had done some of this in a video that I've seen, though. But I'm not sure. I'm a little bit behind. But it's looking real good. It's a great project for the community. So, tip of the hat to you, sir. Let's see. What else we got going on here around spawn? So, it turns out there's not a whole heck of a lot else going on at spawn these days. And that's fine. There just wasn't anything there to show you that you haven't seen before. So I'm back over here. I'm actually doing a little prep work for the next big project. It's got to go all the way up there. I'm going to have to pillar up some more. Uh, actually, it's not really a big project. I'll, I'll be completing this off camera because it's primarily just digging out a big area to fill with water. Uh, making an AF, or not an AFK, but an automatic ink system squid farm so that I can get black ink because I decided after much deliberation that I think the best possible color of stained glass to use for the biodomes, the snow globes or whatever, for that project, the best color of glass is going to be gray. And I've got plenty of bone meal, but I don't have very much ink. So I would like a quick and easy system for getting some ink so i'm not going to try to be uber efficient with it and you know clear out a lot of the water in the area to maximize spawn rates and whatever i'm just gonna set it up and whatever i get i get and uh make do so that's what i'm doing here i'm gonna clear out a seven by seven area from y equals 62 to y equals 46 because i believe that's the areas that squid will spawn in and then underneath that a little bit further down I'll clear out an area so that the squid can fall out of the water and suffocate and drop their ink sacs into hoppers and be automatically collected into a chest somewhere but before I go because this is going to finish up today's episode uh, I wanted to get some feedback from you, my viewers. If uh, you've been with the channel for a little while, you may remember a regular, once regular series on the channel called Slash Build. It was my single player world. It started out uh, as an effort to improve my building style and technique, and uh, I haven't really done anything with it as of late. 
let's see, 60, 61, 62. Yeah, okay, so this is the top. Just because I've been spending most of my single player time over here on VBFS, which is a lot of fun, and uh, I've just been enjoying it an awful lot. So I've been neglecting my single player world. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to start it up again, but because of the new biomes, I really don't want to continue playing that world anymore. Uh, there's some cool stuff in there, and I had a lot of fun in it, but ultimately I want to... Let's take this out. Ultimately I want to start fresh, and I want to probably do it kind of like... Ooh, spooky... I think I kind of want to do it like um, Minecraft is doing their map this season, where it's UHC style. You don't automatically regen health. So that's one way that I think it would keep it fresh for me, uh, keep me interested in playing that map. And of course, with the new biomes and everything, I'd have other options to explore other than exploring them on here, because I haven't ventured out much on the VBFS. But what I need from you guys is a suggestion on a seed for that world. I would like to go into it knowing more or less what I'm getting as a starting point. You know, I don't necessarily want a seed that spawns me, you know, in a mesa or something along those lines, you know, in a, in a hard to find biome like that. But I do want to have an idea that like, where I'm starting out. And if it's a challenging seed, that's fine too. I would not mind, you know, spawning on an island and having to make do with... Oh, hello. <laughs> having to make do with, uh, you know, a small amount of initial resources or something along those lines. So that's fine. But if I figured the best source of interesting seed ideas might be from you guys. So... If you, you there, have a suggestion for a seed that you would like to see me play in a sort of reboot of my slash build series, post it in the comments, uh, and I'll check it out. And my favorite one will be the basis for the uh, new slash build world. And uh, it's not going to probably be a regular series on the channel. I'm thinking maybe one or two episodes a month tops <laughs> with everything else that's going on. But, uh, figure it might be a, a neat uh, way to reinvigorate my interest in single-player Minecraft. I uh, think that's about it for today. Oh, uh, one final little comment that I wanted to make is on Wednesday, this video should be going up on a Friday. So, this couple two days ago, as of when this video goes live... We started, and we is Drew Snowshoe and myself, started a podcast series, uh, which we're uploading on my channel for now, and if it takes off, we may try to get it its own YouTube channel, so it's uh, sort of a collaborative location. Uh, but it's called Dem Guys, because we're just a bunch of guys, so it's... <laughs> and we talk about whatever we feel like talking about. But it's primarily gaming... Uh, topics that we're interested in, so check that out, and uh, it's a great little uh, viewer, or listener, I guess in that case, uh, centric podcast, so, you know, we have a, an email address, you can submit questions to us, or, you know, if you're, you're somebody that we are familiar with, or we're friends with, or whatever, and you're interested in being a guest, and talking with us about you know, video games or TV shows or whatnot that uh, is going on recently or news items, that sort of thing. Um, then, you know, you can contact us and we'll, we'll have you on, possibly. You know, we'll take a look. So, and the final thing, and this is for RJ and Baker, who I haven't seen on in a while. I'm the only one on the server right now. But the final thing is, you guys... I found the rest of the cakes, finally. You may remember that they pranked me by placing cakes all over the place, and I broke them all. This one was in this chest. I set it up on the chest to uh, to consume periodically. 
And it occurred to me, randomly one day, well after cleaning up, that maybe I ought to check the closet. And there is a cake in every single one of these dispensers. Yeah. Well, maybe not every single... Oh, did I get that one? I don't remember which ones I got now. There might not have been one in that one. But yeah, the cakes... The cakes were still haunting me. There's some in this one, too. This one's actually empty, so I'm just gonna go... Yoink! And get all the cakes that way. Yeah, what do we got? Eight... Fifteen cakes there, it looks like. So... <laughs> thanks for the free food, I guess. But I thought that was pretty funny whenever I found them. Alright. That's gonna do it for... This episode on the Vintage Beef fan server, thank you very much for watching. Go check out the Dem Guys podcast. And also look forward to a new series starting up on my channel, probably on Sunday. Uh, I finally purchased Starbound, which I'm very excited about because it's Linux compatible and it's a, a very cool game. I've been having some fun with it so far, so that series is going to start up on Sunday. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.